Well, happy Monday. Welcome back again. I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger from How to Rock the Stage Media. And let me ask you, what are you doing with your content? Particularly, what are you doing with your YouTube channel? Most of us have a YouTube channel. It's one of the best and fastest ways to get online and use streaming content, media assets to amplify you and your brand. Remember, you're not just a speaker anymore. You're not just an author anymore. You're young not just selling certain things, you are a brand authority and you have the chance to be your own media empire. One of the ways to do that is to leverage all your media platforms you can. I'm gonna spend some time this week just on YouTube alone because, hey, it's free. <laughs> Unless you wanna pay me to add some new layers, but really it's the best way to sort of with my content. I spent a lot of this weekend seriously doing a fresh coat of paint going all through my youtube and i'm still working on it as well uh, but i'm going to show you what i've done i've intentionally gone back in and given it a major facelift a lot of the content right now is the same content this is a trick this is part of your media branding but if you go in and make some changes you can get some more hits some more likes some more fouls and i actually did those weekend now, I admit, my channel does not have the followers that I want yet, but this is all part of a new strategy I want to share with you to take what you've already worked on and elevate it to get more people. So I'm going to share my screen here today and talk you through a couple little things. Again, brief overview. We're going to do more of this this week. So here is what my YouTube channel looks like. Now, the thing is, I just recreated my new banner. That is more specific to my branding today, a newer on-stage photo shot I've added right in there, and I just made it a little bit more communicative wide, visually, that I'm all about media, I'm all about the stage, I'm all about helping you rock it and looking better. Simple, very clean, and the thing is, right here, this center area is where, on mobile apps, it will show up sharp and clean. Important to have your logo, your main impression, right here now let me just scroll through this is where I have added some people have a welcome video here they have hi welcome to my channel here's what I'm about I put my show opener here because it also acts as a small teaser about what I do how I coach who I reach out to so you can use a teaser video there that way if you'd like here's where it gets fun YouTube now lets you have up to 12 different sub channels that you can share and put out. So I went in this weekend and spent time creating my channels and putting them in the order I want. Now you have to go into the back way, into the customizations, and I'll explain that in later videos this week. I just want to show you what it's like to have a new pop, some new covers, some new splash, new branding to tie it all together. So my first line here is upload. That's just your general upload. Those are the more popular ones and the hot ones. These are the general uploads as well. And some of them will also show which ones are newer. And then I have one channel, uh, one line just for how to rock the stage show. Now I've been going for over two and a half years, close to three years with this show. And I have them on different platforms. I'm gonna bring a vast majority of them into my YouTube channel with this new color branding. And they're all going to look the same. Look what I did here with sound bites, my new effort. I'm taking clips out of my show of How to Rock the Stage, and I'm turning them into little sound bites. Great little nuggets. This is Sheila Anderson right now moving her arms. Sheila gave a great sound bite. So now I put a banner, I put a closer, made a mini show of it. It's micro content repurposed, and I have already 20 of these to load up here right now, ready to go. This is older content being repurposed. Now, here's where the trick of this. This is the genius of repurposing and sharpening up your channel. I have placed a new cover for my coaching that I do online. And again, some of these are several years old, but the new pop, the new branding of it makes this really shine. And again, every one of my channels, every one of my sub layers is a different. This one, Defy the Odds, is gonna have a whole new brand color put on that. I wanted to show you the difference between that and this, as you can see, they're all different. They have a different vibe to them, and I want to really brand those together. Here are my great storyteller. I have a whole campaign on storytelling. Here's all on leadership coaching that I do. And then again, you can see the interviews have not been all 
branded because the interviews are pulled from different resources. We're going to talk about that this week. And finally, you'll see that I've collaborated with other people to work on projects we put together. That's just a really quick overview of what you can do with old content on your YouTube channel. Think about that. A new cover plate, a new introduction. And then with each one of those that I did, I went back in and I changed some of the SEO. As we wrap up today, let me ask you this question. When was the last time you went into your YouTube channel to make sure your SEO was strong? How do you do that? What's the impact of it? Why do you need to? Well, I'm going to talk about that more tomorrow. When we come on back, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, I go live every day to better help you rock the stage. It's media-centric. You are now a media empire trying to learn how to grow your brand to help get found, liked, booked for calls, booked for speaking engagements. It's so powerful. And yet, we leave so much on the table. I'm here to help you better rock it, grow it. And if you have any questions about doing this, I would love to hear from you. Contact me, rich at richbontrager.net, or go to rockthestagemedia.com. And by the way, I'm going to drop a link in to one of those new shows that I just posted up there so you can get a glimpse of what Rock the Stage is all about. I'd love to hear from you. And again, my passion, my goal is to help you to better rock. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. We're going to talk about SEO and your YouTube channel.